Which way is it? Is it that way? Is that better? This project, Off the Carousel, is a collaboration of Rembrandt and myself with, uh, first of all, the Gaudiamus organization. And for this, we selected a bunch of classical musicians. There are eight classical musicians and two of us, so it's 10 people. Rembrandt wrote a number of pieces for this group, specifically aimed at giving people space to improvise and to make creative decisions in the moment. Every time it's different, and me, as a classical musician, I have to respond to that, and I have to be different too, and so that's an incredibly fun thing to work with. Each of us is on his own carousel, right? So the, the classical musicians, once you have a professional career, you're on the classical carousel, but it's not so easy to jump on another carousel. With the title of the carousel, I meant you actually jump off the carousel, that, that your musical life uh, normally is about and, and maybe you join another carousel so, so, so you turn around with other people with other music. I was quite scared of the improvisation part um, and I even had a nightmare about it but then in the nightmare suddenly I could do it. I picked up my instrument and it just happened and I, I sort of hope that th this is this is sort of beginning to happen now in real life. <laughs> <laughs> the improvising is for me the most challenging because it's very scary for me to not knowing what I will play. Classical music is always written, huh? so you have to really follow what is written in the score, but then here you have the opportunity to be free and to express yourself. Classical musicians were used to improvise a lot, especially we all know Baroque music was mostly improvised, no? And uh, somehow this improvisation got away from classical music training, and now either you specialize in classical music performing or improvisation, but it's kind of not connected anymore. The rehearsals for me are pretty challenging, exactly because I never know what's going to happen. And uh, I need to be pretty much concentrated, more than uh, what I play, but uh, more surrounded by uh, what the others are playing and uh, be able to be as flexible as possible. What's fun for me in this project is uh, the feeling of being the glue in the ensemble, an essential uh, foundational aspect of how this music works but at the same time um, I have plenty of room to uh, stand out as a soloist and as a, a texture inventor. The project is super fascinating for me because it combines a lot of things that I personally find interesting. It's contemporary music yet it is jazz classical, it's uh, so many things combined. It is an unbelievable mishmash assort assortment of things. And only one person I know so far can really do that in such a way. And that's Rembrandt. So Rembrandt's the reason that I was fascinated with this project and how it's gonna shape up and turn out. I found it very inspiring to uh, call the ensemble after this painting of Rembrandt van Rijn. It's called the Staalmeesters. Staalmeesters were people that, that were testing the quality of textiles in the 17th century. So the painting that's in the Rijksmuseum, Rembrandt captured them in the process of, of working together, which at that time was revolutionary because the people on the painting were not happy with what Rembrandt did. But he told them a little bit like, I don't care because I, I really focus on the individuals and on the process. And that's exactly what I do with the music in this group, the Staalmeesters. So that's why the mother of Vincent, uh, our drummer, uh, handmade these things, these 17th century colors, to uh, kind of make a connection with the painting. In the past, people used to improvise, also in the classical world. And we tend, somehow in the last centuries, we kind of forgot that a little bit. And it's great to bring this aspect back, in a way, to be more free with what you do when you are actually in front of an audience. All of these guys, Bach, Beethoven, they're all in this line of wanting to show off what they can do because they, they're swimming in music. It's, it's their language, they play with it, they have fun with it. 
and Rembrandt's in that fine line, and uh, he's trying to write it down in a in a way which he can play with more and more and more people and and bring greater and bigger ideas to uh, to a larger audience, and that's just really exciting. I don't really feel that I'm introducing something new to classical music. It's it's more like uh, restoring something that was always there before. I would be really happy if by the end of all this uh, period I managed to finally get loose, improvising, or just enjoy it. I'm really looking forward tremendously to performing this live for people and to see how people react. And this will be done on the Gaudiamus Music Week on the 7th of September. September 7th.